Hello friend, welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. Today in this video we will be working on 93 Toyota pickup. This one has that legendary engine 22 RE, right? And you can see immediately it's in pretty nice condition and one of the reasons is it has very low miles. So let me show you Orometer, it has 8470 miles. But the question is how real it is because neither speedometer, neither odometer works. And this was diagnosed by the dealer in the past when the owner was uh, there for some visit. They charged him half an hour for the diagnosis and they said it needs a new speed sensor. Here you can see how this whole sensor look like, right? I thought these older pickups, they had still the cable, right? The physical cable coming to the speedo, which was just physically transferring the speed. But apparently I'm wrong and it's supposed to have this speed sensor. I did my best, I tried to find some good price, but at the end, including eBay, Amazon, whatever, the cheapest one I found was 270 bucks from the dealer. So let's go and try to replace it in this video. So truck is nicely in the air, right? So let's start looking on that manual transmission here from the driver's side. Let's fire the light up, right? So that's the engine. Here starts the tranny. If you can see here, drain plug, right? Filler plug and the level check plug. And there is a switch. This switch looks completely right different than our speedometer unit, the speed switch. And I believe this is a backup light switch. So nothing here on the driver's side let's hop on the other side you can see the clutch perfectly there's another cable and voila we can confirm the dealer was right that looks exactly like that speed sensor looking at it i'm hoping it will be above the transmission oil level we will see if i will lose anything or not but and I will use some engine cleaner, right, engine degreaser. There's a bunch of oil all around. So I will carefully, carefully spray it and use the plastic brush to get that stuff off. So when I'm installing the new part, right, I don't want to introduce any dirt inside of this transmission. Then I can continue using some rag, right? And there's no paint around here, so I can probably end up using some brake clean. This will help me to make it perfect. That looks to me pretty clean, right, for this procedure. So I will continue with unclipping this connector you just push on this tab and it should disengage upwards right so that will need to be cleaned too this connector has a bunch of brake clean on it so i will dry it right it needs to be perfect before connecting it back that bolt looks to me like a 12 millimeter let's see if i call it correctly here yeah. Okay, that was just normally tight. I can unscrew that. Put it on my magnet so I don't lose it. And let's carefully go ahead and pull that sensor. Again, I will go around here so you can see it. I will normally not do this, but whatever. Oh yeah, and good, I got my catching pen here. There is definitely, definitely overflow of the oil. And there is a gear coming 
out with that sensor. When I was showing it to you, I was wondering how it works. Well, we will be transferring right this gear, and what is good, the gear is not damaged. So, so here you can see the brand new unit side by side with the old one, right? The new one came with the O-ring. You don't have to. You don't have to order extra this o-ring, it was included. So obviously our next step is to transfer this plastic gear onto the new part. If you look at it, it's being held by some kind of clip. So I need to pop that off, right? Oh look, you don't even need any special tools or anything. The clip just gave up and that should let me to transfer this gear on the new unit. Wow, look at that. So here is a detail for you what we are dealing with. Shall I move the light maybe this way, right? So this is what it is and look at the end right that will need to correctly uh, be connected on the bottom so i will look inside and it's in this position let me go and catch the groove oh yeah and it's nicely i i know it's nicely connected and i have a new gear the old gear in the new unit now let's use that clip which will hold it. it. It kind of tries to pop out by itself. Let's use this clip. It should be logically this way. Boom. See that? And the gear will not come out. And I can feel it's turning the sensor. So now I will loop slightly, right? Very slightly this O-ring. All of us follow that. And we can install this speed sensor inside of the transmission. And I set up this area again for you. And hopefully you can see that gear inside, right? I'm moving the light, so hopefully you can see that gear which is actually inside of the transmission and is running the gear on the speed sensor. And this is kind of foolproof install right there's no other position you could put it it's just the one way so carefully that o-ring brand new o-ring let's see how it'll, it'll go okay carefully push it slowly yep that nicely went there now it's back to that 12 millimeter definitely no reason to tighten it too much right because the o-ring will be providing the seal not how much i will crank this bolt that, that really can be just nice and little tight but definitely not too much this is wonderful now i can start cleaning up that little bit of gear oil which came out right and I will be ready if that connector it's clean enough for me. Let's check that one more time. I completely dry that. Right? But yes, this is good. The connector looks ready. And we will click it on the top. There should be audible click. Of course it did. And look at that. We have is installed since I like things perfect right I know here you don't see it oh you see it. here is that complete drain and this is the level and filler plug so I will go ahead actually and check it but the same is here right I have to first clean around because I don't want to open it and introduce a bunch of dirt inside of the transmission that will be pointless i heard somebody said 17 is it 17 i heard somebody somebody watching said hey it's a 17 peter 
Yeah, I look at that. Here we go. Now, I couldn't get all of it. It's a little bit more dirt right here. So first, get it up. Then open. Right? So, to be perfect, we know the truck is in complete level. Right? Here you can see the opening. And you are using your pinky and you are trying to see the level. The opening is not very big, so the other way you can check it is grab a mirror. And I will try to see where the level is. I will move the light. That was for you, but now I need it differently. And I'm looking inside. Right? And I actually can see the level of the fluid. So really, if the vehicle is in the correct level, uh, it looks like you don't have to add any gear oil. If you do these services, it's always good to replace the crusher washer. And I know you guys are saying, hey, Pierre, you want to have everything perfect, right? So I look up the torque spec and it's a 37 Newton meters, right? If you really want to have it absolutely towards the spec and factory manual, let's use the Snap-on electronic torque wrench. Boom. And here you got it. You can see it was pretty easy, right, to replace that speed sensor on this 93 Toyota truck. So I hope you enjoy this video and make sure you are subscribed. I have way more coming your way soon. Thanks for watching and have a great day, my friend.